Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Two Kitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Leo time. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you felt called to click on this video, then there might be some messages here for you in this reading for March 2020. But keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not everything's going to apply to everybody. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest here. But if it's not resonating with you, I also recommend that you check out your other sign videos. So for example, if this is your sun sign, go check out your moon and rising sign videos as well. It can give you a better idea of what's going on in the month of March 2020. So Leo, let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what's going on. Leo, March 2020. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. The Death card. Wow. Big changes. Two major arcana right off the bat. Three of Cups. I had a feeling that was going to come out was pre-shuffling and I kept seeing the three of cups so usually that's an indication that it's going to show up in the energy so oh, queen of cups and the sun card looking pretty good. Oh, three ones, two threes on top of each other. That's interesting. Leo, March 2020. Knight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. If I remember correctly, I think you guys got Seven of Pentacles the last time um, for February's reading, and it came out several times. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Seven of Pentacles came out like three, two or three times in the reading last month, so that energy is still kind of carrying over into this month, but yeah, it looks like there's some big changes going on for you. A change of fortune clarity, a rebirth of some kind, and independence when it comes to your finances and your ability to create, to meditate, and to come into harmony with somebody else. So the Wheel of Fortune really speaks of the turning of the wheel. This can be a new season rising for you. This can be a new period of growth rising for you. It is the up and down cycles that we go through in life and so if you're coming out of a death cycle where you were going through a lot of loss or things just weren't really enjoyable for you then this wheel of fortune is a good indication that there will be a good increase of fortune coming your way something worth celebrating as well could be related to business projects communication with other people groups of people um the Three of Wands really speaks of long distance communication and waiting for your ships to come in. And the Three of Cups speaks of celebrations, reunions, coming together with people and having something to celebrate. So perhaps your ships are coming in this month and you're going out to celebrate with friends about it, you know, quite literally going out for dinner um, and enjoying celebration. Yeah, it just looks like a celebration to me. And it, it could be around money and finances as well, being independent financially or going through some kind of a, a rebirth as it relates to your finances, your clarity around how you create abundance in your life and the joy that you find in creating. Yeah, there's definitely a creative energy here and emotional energy. I mean, we're in Pisces season, so there's lots of watery energy around Pisces, um, or rather Mercury went retrograde in Pisces as well. So 
there's a lot of emotional energy coming forward. There may be an emotional offer coming in for you that you might need to meditate on and see if it's going to be right for you or when it's going to be right for you. There's this assessment energy, seeing if what you're doing is working, seeing if this offer is going to be good for you. There's something coming in for you because I'm seeing these two horses and they're both riding to the right, which indicates the future. So there's something that's that's coming in for you in the future this month in March, something that's going to be worth celebrating, something that's going to help with your abundance as well as your, your fortune, your overall fortune. This is fated. This is destined. This is something that's meant to happen. And it's something emotional for you, whether that's to do with you know, your money, your home, your family, your friends, or your relationships, it's whatever you have an emotional connection to that, yeah, there's something, something coming in. Let's see what this, I want to clarify the Knight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, another horse riding to the right. So yeah, there's definitely something coming in for you and I'm feeling tingles down my legs and whenever that happens, it's an indication of truth and something grounding into the physical. So success, success, recognition, reward, leadership, um, emotional offers are coming in for you or you could be offering emotional um, support, stability or healing to another and this is leading you to success. It could be around meditation as well because the Four of Swords speaks of meditation. So you could be offering healing or guided meditation. Actually, one of my friends is a Leo and she just um, finished her meditation certification. She's also doing breathwork training and um, and sound, crystal sound bowl healing as well. So I, I feel that very much resonates there. Success, recognition, people, people coming together and recognizing what you've been able to accomplish and how far you've come. That's really that three of swords with that six of wands energy and success. <laughs> this looks really good. So whatever it is that you're focusing on, emotional clarity might come in through meditation as well. So meditating regularly or stopping to sort of calm your mind and feel into the emotions, emotional messages as well. The, the little wings on his feet are similar to, oh, who was it? Hermes, I think, was the messenger of the gods. So this is meditations bringing messages from the gods or from your higher self, your guides, that is going to help you to assess where you're at and enjoy where you're at for once. <laughs> well, not for once, but after a period of, of transformation, you know, now it's time to really enjoy where you're at. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups again. So this could be a Pisces in your life, a Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Cancer. It doesn't have to be, but this could be also um, an emotional connection that you have to your inner fem female or feminine, whether you're male or female. And there's something that's being assessed here because they're showing me in both of these Queen of Cups cards, she's assessing, she's really staring at the cup in her hands. And that's that holy water that's so valuable to her and the assessment with the seven of pentacles as well so there's emotional assessment something something that you've been working on is being assessed oh the empress i had a feeling that one was going to come out as well because that one i saw in the pre-shuffle in both decks so the empress is this abundance and with the nine of pentacles here it, this is huge huge abundance so this is you coming into a state of being able to create whatever it is that you want for yourself manifestation law of attraction being able to enjoy the fruits of your labors as well so yes there's a period of assessment emotional assessment or physical assessment of something that's coming in for you or this period that you've gotten to in your life or this point that you've gotten to in your life where you're emotionally stable um, secure, connected, psychic even. Very, lots of psychic energy if you're connected with that. And the Empress is there to help you continue to reap the rewards of your service, of your abilities, um, and enjoy that. Really enjoy that. 
So we have the Fool card. So that's that new beginning that's coming in with the Nine of Pentacles here. There's a conclusion or something's coming to an end and a new beginning is coming from it. And this new beginning is, is beautiful. It's very much innocent and it's bringing a lot of clarity. These two sun card or the, the two sun images in these cards really speak to me of clarity, insight. And sun is is your energy, Leo. That's that fiery energy, the enlightenment therein and standing in the sun, being in the sunlight, really owning your your charisma, your abilities, your talents, really standing in your highest power after a period of transformation. That's what I'm feeling from you guys. Now you did get the nine of wands, another nine, um, with the sun and the uh, wheel of fortune. That's where I'm guided to put it. It's all just intuitive, but um, these, these nines, again, they speak of the ending of a cycle. So it's not quite at its completion, but it's something, this may have happened in the past where you came to sort of a culmination point on your journey, and then you went through a massive transformation, which may have been um, disruptive, a little bit painful, or very enlightening and freeing. It really just depends. And it can even be both as well. It can start out dark and dismal and then become beautiful and, and a huge relief to be able to move out of that energy. It's like stepping out into the light after going through a dark tunnel. And this Nine of Wands energy, it shows how far you've come. So all of these cards really speak to me of how far you've come. You've been through a lot. You've gone through so many different battles, so many different turnings of the wheel from up to down to up to down, all around. And I, I see this as clarity, gaining clarity from the past, but being able to let go of that and heal that, especially with the inner child, maybe some inner child healing through meditation is bringing you emotional messages that you needed to be able to mature to this next level and really step into your power really step into your power and that healing there is it's a blessing it's such a blessing yeah on the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords in reverse so it's healing from past heartbreaks wounds from the past the wounded warrior is coming forward into this new cycle and gaining clarity gaining healing gaining growth so beautiful wonderful new beginning here for you guys really light very positive let's get um Let's get an angel oracle card for you. And we'll see what comes up. Compassion. Breathe. Oh, I love that. Oops. Wow, this one fell on the floor. Hold on one second. And comfort. So compassion is soften your heart with respect to this situation. All people involved, including yourself. Breathe. Take several breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So this might be doing breath work as well in meditation. Um, comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Yeah, so there's that heart healing with that Three of Swords energy on the bottom of the deck being that sort of overall. And it's really a big release. It's a letting go of the past and doing this breath work, doing this kind of meditation, being compassionate for yourself and healing that inner child, healing the past, letting it go after a period of transformation and death, really digging deep into that cycle and completing it. I really feel a sense of completion here for you guys, and that's fantastic. And it's bringing you this level of comfort and security and 
you're going to be able to rejoice in that. It's, it, it really does feel joyful, freeing, liberating. <sighs> it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like you can finally breathe after having something heavy sitting on your chest for so long. You feel light and free once the cinder block has been taken off of you and you can finally breathe again. So breathe. Breathe in the energy. And when you breathe, you are stimulating your vital force energy. It's flowing through you. The chi, the prana, the reiki, whatever we want to call it, it, it flows through our breath. It flows through our body. And when we breathe deeply, take a big, big, deep breath right now. It flows into all of our cells. So all of the cells in our body receive this vital force energy and it helps us to raise our overall frequency, which makes us happier and healthier. So let's get an animal oracle card. We'll see what they have to say for you guys this month. Leo, March 2020. What animal is coming forward? We have the frog. And it came up in reverse, but I will read both of the descriptions for it if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Sensitivity, medicine, hidden beauty, and power. So the upright meaning is the frog unites the elements of water and earth bringing joy, delight, and healing in its singing and hopping, and leading you to the sacred spring from which you may be refreshed and renewed. A cold-blooded creature living half on the land and half in the water, the frog possesses an extremely sensitive skin, considered magical by shamans. A companion of the rain spirits, the frog can help you develop your sensitivity to others, to healing, and to sound through your skin and your whole body and aura. Nothing is what it appears to be, and life is more fun than you at first supposed. There is a hidden beauty and a hidden power in all of nature, and as you open yourself to this, you will feel close to the goddess and close to the, both the earth and the water. Look for the beauty and the magic behind appearances. And the reverse meaning is, the frog in the reverse suggests that you are learning how to embrace difficult circumstances. The frog that you must marry may well turn out to be a prince. <laughs> the circumstances you've chosen to accept, while apparently unappealing or difficult, may well bring you rich rewards in the end. Remember that the frog brings medicine and medicine brings healing. Oh, I love that. It's like the, the medicine of the heart. It's the heart healing. It's that difficult period that I was talking about and coming out of that to this rich reward, which is what I'm really, really feeling from this reading for you guys. It's also water and earth. And I love that because you have a lot of water and earth in your reading. You've got these pentacle cards and you've got these cup cards. So it's balancing these two elements, which is interesting because as a fire sign, this isn't normally an energy that you work with. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe connecting, going out and connecting with the water or with the earth. Um, maybe going to a natural spring. That way you have both in one place in a forest or something like that. Being able to connect with that energy and, and embody that energy within you. Breathe that energy in and then really, really take comfort in the medicine and the healing that you're receiving. There's definitely some psychic abilities here as well with that shamanic reference and the extra sensitivity. So you guys are, you could be meditating more regularly. You could be doing a lot of self-work and it's really, really starting to pay off. And you can see it in your energy. You can feel it in your energy and you can see it in the results that you're seeing in the rest of your life. It's becoming more abundant and joyful. So congratulations, Leo. What an awesome reading. I absolutely love this. If you guys are looking to get some more personal information on what's going on for you in the month of March, I do have the month ahead reading down below and you can order that with me from services.2kittyandbeyond at gmail.com. Um, I also do Reiki healing and all other types of tarot readings. Um, 
if you are interested they are in the description box below this video so you can just hit the show more button or the little inverted triangle to get a drop down list of all of my offerings and pricing and how to contact me so thank you so much for being here guys for listening for watching for sharing subscribing liking <laughs> if you feel called i would appreciate that so much thank you and i love you so much we'll see you next time bye